Hey y'all, this is Andrew here with the Flak Wagon. I'm going to take you through some old footage I have here while I was building the van. This is a video where I'm going to be installing a window just behind the driver's side door. Uh, one thing to note here, this is an RV window. It's perfectly square. It's not contoured to fit the van in any way. Um, it's very short in the vertical direction and that's very important um, because you'll notice that the van itself is curved. And if you have a very tall window, you're going to have a gap at the bottom and top of your window that's going to be too much to cover the sealant. Uh, so keep it short in the vertical direction. And we'll take you through the steps here. All right, I've got my tools here. And I think this is everything I'm going to need for today. Drill, screwdriver, knife, pencil, jigsaw. This is what I'm going to use to cut the hole. And I've got an angle grinder to make a few other cuts that are kind of tricky and then some metal piercing drill bits and then on the material side I've got the window itself frame hardware for the window and I got this at a junkyard off an RV junkyard for like 20 bucks so it was pretty cheap you're gonna need some non sag RV sealant here this is Dicor this stuff's good I've used it before wood shims a little bit of rubber sealant and some scrap pieces of plywood. So the way this window works is by the inner frame here screwing onto the window itself and it sandwiches down this area here. In the RV I took it off of, it's squished onto the frame, but I don't have that on this van and that's what I'm going to use the plywood for to make a new frame out of. And I need to stack it up about two and a half inches. So this is the template making process. I want to be very certain to make my inner dimension exactly right. Uh, outer dimension is not as important as long as it hangs over an inch or two. Uh, the reason I'm using plywood is because it's a little bit flexible and I can stack combinations of half inch, three eighths inch, three quarter inch to get that perfect amount of sandwich material that I need. All right, so this is the idea here. I've made my one that I'm going to use as a template and it fits all around. Now I need to make probably five or six more of them so I can sandwich them together when I screw the framework together. So now I've got my frame inside the van. I'm going to make a rough outline of where I want it to go. I've already got the insulation cut away. And what I'm going to do here is cut away that old um, support piece it's very important not to cut away anything that's critical to the structure of the vehicle, but a window is designed to go here on this van. You see it on the passenger models of the van. All right, so I've gone ahead and traced out my frame here, and I've measured it from the top here and the bottom here, and it's two inches, two inches from the top, three inches from the bottom the whole way around so it looks pretty even from the inside but I'm gonna drill a few test holes that I've measured out and I'm gonna see how it measures up from the outside all right so the holes look good lines look good everything's even so I'm gonna drill a bunch of little holes from the inside and then we'll come from the outside with the jigsaw and play connect the dots So I got the outline made, everything's taped off. Use this as my guide and keep from chipping up the van. Got my starting holes drilled here so I can get the blade in. And we'll go ahead and cut it out. All right, so I've got the window dry fitted now. And it's pretty tight right here. And on the other side, it's just got a bit, a little bit of a gap yet. So we're going to put some shims in the blocks on the inside and uh, get the sealing on it. I'll show you what it looks like from the inside. So this is a view from inside here. And you see the blocks that I've made out of the template to kind of wedge the whole thing between the van. So now it's pretty sturdy. The window doesn't shake around. So we're just going to clean the window up, put a little rubber sealing on it and secure it. And it's just a final view from the outside. I added the sealant in here. As you can see, that gap cleaned up real good on the top and bottom. It's not too dramatic. 
and uh, it pulled it pretty tight on the other side. So thanks for watching and if you're interested in following our 2017 adventure from Florida to Alaska, you can check it out on Instagram at Flackwagon. Appreciate it. Thank you.